Hello friends, in today's video, we shall go through the Hicksian approach to price decomposition. Price decomposition means dividing the price effect into substitution effect and income effect. And in order to do that, we have two approaches, Hicksian method and the Slutsky method. And in this video, we shall go through the Hicksian approach of compensating variation in income to decompose the price effect into substitution and income effects. First of all, we shall see the case wherein the price of good Y remaining the same when the price of good X decreases. Initially, we have the consumer's budget line which is given as RS and in this budget constraint, the consumer reaches equilibrium at point A with U1 level of utility. Here, the consumer is consuming OE amount of good X and OH amount of good Y. Now, the price of good Y remaining the same, when the price of good X decreases, the real income or the purchasing power of the consumer increases. So this increase in the purchasing power or real income is shown by an outward shift in the budget line from RS to RT. So in this new budget line, the consumer again reaches a new equilibrium point at point B at a higher utility level U2. Note that the nominal income is the same in both these budget constraints, only the purchasing power differs. At the new equilibrium point B, the consumer purchases OG amount of good X and OI amount of good Y. So here we can see that the consumer is purchasing EG amount of additional units of good X while giving up HI amount of good Y. Because of the decrease in the price of good X, the price of good Y remaining the same. Here we can clearly observe the law of demand being operational that is other factors remaining the same when the price of good X decreases the quantity demanded of good X has increased from OE to OG. So this additional EG amount of good X purchased by the consumer is because of the decrease in the price of good X and this represents the price effect. In other words, the movement from point A to B shows the price effect. Here the consumer is in a better off situation. That is when the price of good X has decreased, the real income or the purchasing power of the consumer increases. The consumer has reached a higher utility level. So clearly the consumer is in a better off situation. So here using compensating variation in income, this increased real income is adjusted so that the consumer remains in the same level of utility as before the price change or in other words the increased real income is adjusted so that the consumer maintains the initial utility level which is represented by U1 indifference curve. So in order to maintain the initial utility level, we have to adjust the increased real income downwards by drawing a budget constraint parallel to RT budget line and that new budget line should also be tangent to the initial indifference curve U1 and that is represented by the dotted red budget line. Now this new red budget line is tangent to the initial indifference curve U1 at point C. So we already know that the consumer has purchased an additional EG amount of good X just because of the decrease in price of good X, the price of good Y remaining the same. Now out of this EG, EF amount of good X has been purchased because of the substitution effect. In other words, the movement from point A to C shows the substitution effect. That is, price of good Y remaining the same. When the price of good X has decreased, good X has become comparatively cheaper than good Y, which is why the consumer is substituting more more of good X for Y while maintaining the same utility level. The movement from point C to B shows the income effect. In other words, FG amount of additional units of good X has been purchased by the consumer due to income effect. Here we can see that the price of good Y remaining the same when the price of good X has decreased, consumer's real income increased. So this increase in the consumer's real income has made the consumer in a better off situation. That is why the consumer's utility level has also increased from U1 to U2. So consumer is in a better off situation because of the increase in the real income of the consumer. So due to this increase in the purchasing power or real income of the consumer, the consumer is purchasing an additional FG amount of good X, which is due to the income effect. Next, we shall see the case wherein the price of good Y remaining the same. What happens when the price of good X increases? So initially, we have RS budget line wherein the consumer reaches equilibrium at point A at U2 level of utility level. That is, the consumer is initially at a higher level of utility. Here, the consumer is consuming OE amount of good X and OH amount of good Y. 
now the price of good y remaining the same when the price of good x increases what happens is the real income of the consumer will decline it means the consumer is in a worse off situation because his purchasing power has decreased so that decrease in real income of the consumer is shown by rt budget line that is there has been an inward shift in the budget line from rs to rt so in this new budget line the consumer again reaches an equilibrium at point b here we should note that the consumer initially was in a higher utility level and due to the increase in the price of good x the consumer now has reached a lower utility level u1 so in the new budget line rt the consumer reaches equilibrium at point b where the consumer is purchasing og amount of good x and oi amount of good y so here we can see that the movement from a to b shows the price effect in other words initially the consumer was purchasing oe amount of good x but due to the increase in the price of good x the price of good y remaining the same the consumer has decreased his demand for good x so here also we can see that the law of demand is being operational that is other factors remaining the same when the price of good x increased quantity demanded of good x decreased so here when the price of good x increased the consumer has given up eg amount of good x and has consumed hi amount of good y so this is because of the price effect now since the consumer is in a worse off situation using compensating variation of income the consumer's reduced real income is adjusted so that the consumer remains on the initial level of utility using compensating variation of income the reduced real income will be increased so that the consumer reaches the initial level of utility so in order to do that we will draw a budget line parallel to rt and also tangent to the initial utility level u2 that is represented by the red dotted budget line so again the consumer reaches equilibrium with this new budget line at point c so the movement from point a to c shows the substitution effect that is a consumer is maintaining the same level of utility at u2 but because of an increase in the price of good x price of good y remaining the same good x has now comparatively become more expensive than good y which is why the consumer is purchasing more of good y and less of good x so the movement from point a to c is the substitution effect or in other words ef amount of good x is being given up in order to purchase hj amount of good y this is the substitution effect whereas the movement from point c to b shows the income effect that is at point c we can see the consumer is in a higher utility level whereas at point b the consumer is in a lower utility level u1 the consumer has reached this lower utility level due to the decrease in the real income of the consumer because of the increase in the price of good x so since the real income of the consumer has decreased the consumer will give up fg amount of good x for ij amount of good y so this shows the income effect so in short Hicksian method of using compensating variation in income actually adjusts the change in the real income to allow the consumer to remain on the same level of utility as before the price change. So this adjustment in the purchasing power or the real income of the consumer is represented by the red dotted budget constraint in both the diagrams and that is what divides the price effect into income and substitution effects. Hope you all have understood what compensating variation in income is and about the Hicksian approach to price decomposition. If you like the video, do subscribe to my channel and share to maximum. Thank you.